what is going on guys? It's been a minute. I took a little a little bit of me time, family time, and I had a great Thanksgiving. Did some deer hunting out in Pennsylvania. Did some deer hunting in Central Ohio. Put down a really nice buck in Pennsylvania. I was out there for one day of hunting and then uh, another day of just hanging out with my buddy uh, while he was hunting. And it was a lot of fun. A lot of guys got deer and it was a good time. So it was a fun experience. Got to go out there, find some fresh shine, sit down and smoke a, smoke a nice deer. So that was a lot of fun. The hunt giveaway is over. So for everybody that entered at lmpoutdoors.com, thank you so freaking much, you guys, for everybody that placed orders on the website. That helps so much with being able to do that hunt giveaway. It kind of helps um, with being able to maintain the property, get stuff going and set up, keep feed out there for the deer over here in Ohio and all that good stuff. So it is ready for you when you show up. The wife and I were out there yesterday and we were covered up in deer. So we are so excited to have one of you guys out here to hunt with us or take $2,000 cash and keep hunting with yourself. That's totally fine too. Or if you're not into hunting, then well, enjoy the cash. Hopefully you guys all had a great time with family and friends over the holiday weekend. And uh, we've got some got some big news for you guys. We got some things that I think you guys are going to, some of you guys are gonna absolutely love and some of you guys are not going to love this so much, but it's for the better. It's for some stuff that we've got planned coming up. And I hope you guys understand what I'm about to tell you in the next segment of this video. So stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And um, yeah, I, I, yeah, just I'm excited. I hope I hope you guys are too. We've got some new stuff coming up. It's all a work in process. And everybody's goals and the way they achieve those goals is gonna look so different, you know, for every person. And I just want you guys to understand that. But we've got some stuff coming up that I think you guys are gonna like. We're definitely gonna be happy about it. And uh, can't wait to explain it more in detail later on in other videos. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Two days later. <laughs> We are actually ready to go pick up the Nasty Red. There's a few things that we've got to go over with the Nasty Red. A, you guys can win that truck now. Yes, Nasty Red is up for grabs. And before anybody gets upset and goes, oh my gosh, what happened? You should keep that truck. I told you guys, if I buy that truck back, I told you, if I buy that truck back and get it from that auction, we are giving it away at some point. I didn't say it would be immediately. It could be a couple giveaways from now, but we were going to give that truck away. That is, why I bought the truck back is to give you guys a chance to own it and not just, you know, somebody at an auction yard that might not be as attached to the truck. And not to mention, give you guys the opportunity to win it that might not have been able to go bid on it and just buy it outright. You still have the opportunity to own and win the truck for so much less than the full asking price. And before anybody, you know, gets too upset about it, we do have other plans for a vehicle. And, you know, Nasty Red, you know, it's a great truck. Never had a problem with it running, driving, starting. It's a great road trip vehicle. AC works, heat works, cruise works. I mean, everything works. Acceleration, the deceleration buttons, those all work, which is just so hard to find on those trucks. As a family vehicle, it raises a different element of need in a vehicle. You know, we only have one kid right now, but I'm sure that's gonna change at some point. And it's just, it's crammed in that thing, especially like with the holiday weekend, like for Thanksgiving. We had guns for hunting. We had bins of camo. We had suitcases and bags and presents and all kinds of stuff that we were taking with us. So we had to like pack totes full of stuff and strap it to the bed of the truck. And you know, and, and it it works. Like it, you can, we can make it work, but it's just not that comfortable as a family vehicle. And I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. We got something done that you guys have been asking me to get done on this thing pretty much since we bought the truck originally three and a half, four-ish years ago. And that is tent. Finally got some tent on the thing and I can't wait to show you guys the whole thing from the outside. It looks so sweet and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. Um, it, it's definitely, definitely a lot darker. I mean, the tint's cool and all, but you know what the coolest thing about this truck is, right? Whoa. Yeah, it, it builds a lot of boost. Ah, oh, I'm gonna miss it. I am going to miss it, but I guess we're just gonna have to build another one. So I tried to wash it the best that I could, but of course, after driving just a few minutes, there's new dirt flicked up all over the sides of it. But we did end up going with a 15% tint on the sides, the back, and a 15% brow on the front. Now, why a brow on the front? Well, that way, technically, you could see your face if you were sitting in the front, either the front two seats, going down the road. 
I mean, not, not easily, but technically you can still, still see your face in there. Uh, and it does allow a little bit of light into the cab. That way you do have a little bit of visibility in your mirrors and stuff, especially when you are talking about lower light conditions, you gotta be able to see. And if you can't see, it kind of sucks. I've done 5% on trucks before, like 5% everything, like windshield, sides, back, everything. And it looks super cool. At night, absolutely terrifying, and it's just not just not functional. It's just not great. It's just for appearance and privacy, but in terms of your safety driving or backing up at night or whatever on darker back roads, it's pretty, you know, pretty much just hurting you more than anything. And I thought this is a very good balance to darken it up, get rid of the fishbowl, but not be completely illegal in most states. I think it looks pretty good, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. There was a couple of things too. Apparently the whole rear glass on this truck, it's got an aftermarket rear glass. Let me show it to you. So on this truck, there's actually a button right here. Power slide that rear window uh, open and close. I'm not gonna do it right now because the tint's fresh. You're not supposed to open or close any windows for two or three days. Uh, but it power slides back and forth. Well, apparently the whole lower seal on the entire back glass was like popped out and they were like, we are so surprised hitting bumps and stuff. That glass, the whole thing didn't just drop out of the rear and fall basically in between the cab and the flatbed. And I didn't even know that that was happening, but they said that they were able to have a glass specialist come over and actually fix that. So luckily um, we did not have to deal with that because apparently it's not the cheapest thing to replace those. Especially since that one was an aftermarket one with a power function. That's not really something that is just like a factory. Just toss it in a second gen type thing. That's good news. That could have been bad. Otherwise, looks great. Super happy with how the tent turned out. Like I said, guys, I want it to be dark, but I don't want it to be like so highly illegal in most states that you get bothered as soon as you drive this thing down the road. Because of course that could be you very soon now that this truck is up for grabs right now. And we do actually have a winner for the flat nasty as well. I think he's good to go and we're gonna give him a call and he's gonna come out and pick up his truck. But right now I'm actually gonna take the back side railings off so that we can get a good view of the truck without those on it. But of course, if you being the winner want those side railings to go with it, just cause maybe think it'd be kinda cool to have them, um, you are more than welcome to have them with the truck if you want them. But I am gonna take them off for now since we're not doing as much traveling when deer hunting right now. We're pretty much almost completely tagged out, except Reagan's got a couple more deer tags. My buddy and I might make a trip down to Kentucky or Tennessee to try some public land deer hunting, but that's not for sure gonna be happening, um, but that's something we're trying to plan out. So for now though, not doing any more long distance hunting in the schedule currently with this truck, we're gonna be able to take these sides off and pretty much keep them off now for the rest of the season. We are gonna miss the nasty red, but guys, I do think you're gonna like what we replace it with. It's a super, super fun truck. It's a lot of fun. Probably one of my favorite second gen 12 valves we've ever owned and ever done anything to. There's just a lot that I love about this truck, but guys, this is not a truck that I wanna keep forever and ever and ever and ever. It would be kinda cool, but it's just not. But we have something else in store to replace Nasty Red that'll make a perfect vehicle for us, Reagan and I. And uh, I think you guys are gonna like what we have coming next. But on that note, if you wanna get entered to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash and a heavy duty worn plow for the front of this thing, that could make you some money or just help clear your own freaking driveway. For a lot of North America here, um, if you wanna get entered to win this truck, plus the plow, plus the five grand, all you gotta do, it's place an order at lmpgear.com, and right now, every $1 is 25 entries to win. That is our best deal for the entire giveaway. You're not gonna have an entry multiplier higher than 25X for this giveaway. So if you wanna get in, 25X is live right now, but it does end on December 10th. Grab those 25X entries towards winning this truck, plus the five grand, and the worn plow that's not here right now. It's actually in storage, but you guys have seen it if you've watched the videos. It's the ultimate rig for someone that's wanting a work truck. Towing airbags, compounds, flatbed, snow plow. I mean, if you want a work truck that's low miles for a 12 valve, 150,000, this is your truck. Place those orders, and I'll see one of you guys here soon to pick up your new truck, five grand, and your plow.